StarSense AutoAlign is a revolutionary accessory that automatically aligns your telescope to the night sky in just three minutes. Whenever you install StarSense on a new telescope, you need to perform a one-time setup procedure to calibrate StarSense to the telescope's optics. This is a simple four-step process that should take you about 15 minutes. Here's what you need to do. 1. Install StarSense. 2. Perform an alignment. 3. Calibrate on a star. 4. Realignment. First, let's go over installing StarSense. Depending on your telescope model, you may have to remove the finder scope, bracket, and bracket base from your telescope. StarSense comes pre-assembled with a large bracket and bracket base that will fit most telescopes. Install the large bracket base onto your telescope, then slide the StarSense camera onto that base and tighten the thumb screws. If your telescope requires the use of a smaller bracket, follow the instructions in your user manual to swap it out. Once the camera is installed, Plug one end of the included aux cable into the camera and the other end into the mount's auxiliary port. Finally, remove your telescope's Nexstar Plus hand control and attach the StarSense hand control. To prepare for alignment, insert a low-powered eyepiece. EQ mounts should be set to index marks and roughly polar aligned. All the azimuth mounts should start with the tube leveled to the ground. 2. Perform an alignment. Once your telescope is turned on and ready, press align. Choose StarSense Auto by pressing Enter. Press Enter again to set the time and date. Type in the time using the number pad and then press Enter. Next, put in today's date and press Enter again. Make sure you select the correct time zone and whether or not you are currently in daylight savings time. Press Enter to confirm each selection. StarSense will now scan the skies performing a quick search for alignment stars. This will only take a few minutes. Once the preliminary alignment is complete, press Enter to continue. 3. Calibrate on a star. For this next step, we need to identify a star in the night sky. If you do not know the names of any stars, a planetarium app for your smartphone, like Celestron's free sky portal app, can help you quickly identify one. Simply open the app and hit compass. Sky portal is telling me that that star over there is Vega, so I'm going to go to that star in the hand controls database. To select a star, hit the stars button, then select named by pressing enter. Use the scroll buttons to find your star. For this example, we are using Vega. Press enter when you see your star and the telescope will move towards it. The telescope is now roughly pointing towards your star. However, you may not see the star in your eyepiece. Don't worry, this is normal. Do not slew them out to try to find the star until we have begun the calibration process. Press the back button twice to get back to the star sense ready screen. To calibrate your star sense, press menu Use the scroll buttons to find star sense. Press enter to select it. Press enter again to select calibrate. We are now going to calibrate star sense to the last star that we have viewed, in this case Vega. Press enter and you will see that star pop up again as a calibration point. Use the arrow keys to center the star in the eyepiece. You may need to stand behind your scope and line the star up with the top of the tube in order to find it in the eyepiece. Once it is in the center of your eyepiece, hit enter. Now we are going to fine tune the calibration. We recommend switching to a higher powered eyepiece for greater accuracy. Again, use the arrow keys to center the star in your eyepiece. When the star is centered, this time press align. StarSense will now capture an image of that star and use it as a new calibration point. Four, realignment. Now that we have calibrated the StarSense camera, you will be prompted to do another alignment procedure. Press enter to continue, then press align. Choose star sense auto by pressing enter. We already set the time and date, so hit back to begin the alignment. Once the alignment is complete, press enter to continue. Congratulations, you are now ready to observe any object in the night sky. Let's test it out by selecting Vega from the hand controls database. Your telescope should slew directly to Vega and center the star in the eyepiece. When you're done observing for the night, you may want to remove the StarSense camera. Just remember to leave the mounting plate installed. Then, the next time you observe, simply reattach the camera, turn on your telescope, and select StarSense Auto for a quick 3-minute alignment.